What's up guys and girls, it's Dan and welcome to another episode of Guitar Talk. Welcome back to another episode of the Guitar Talk Signature Series where we are looking at signature gear, new and old, we don't just do new things on this channel and today we are looking at one of my all-time favourite guitar models which is the USA PV Wolfgang Standard Deluxe. <laughs> This is my all-time favourite guitar model ever of any company that's ever made guitars. When I was learning growing up, at no point did I ever say to myself, you know what, my favourite guitar ever is going to be made by PV. But here we are, that's who makes this or made this and I think these things are absolutely amazing. Spec-wise on this model, we've got a basswood body, a carved maple top. I don't know how well you can see that in the video, but it's absolutely stunning. The flame on this and finish is unreal. If I move it around in the light, you might be able to, I don't know how well it's going to come out on YouTube, but you know, the, the flame just moves all over the place. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, what else have we got? We've got a three-way switch, which on these is flipped upside down. So I don't know how many of you, when you watch these, pay attention to where the pickup selector is. But on this, up is the bridge, down is the neck. Why is it that way around? I've got absolutely no idea, but I'm used to it. So it just kind of makes sense to me now. Um, we've got a volume and a tone, single one for controls both pickups. Um, little nugget of information for you, Eddie originally didn't want a tone, he was convinced to put it on by partly PV just to make it more appealing to people when they were looking to buy the guitar. <laughs> end of the guitar we've got shallow tuners which are really stable we've got a bird's eye maple neck and a bird's eye maple fretboard which is glued to the neck so they are two separate pieces of wood but equally stunning uh, we've got a super flat but comfortable 15 inch radius which makes big bends and tapping you know it's an Eddie Van Halen guitar super easy to do on this guitar for a long time, Eddie always said that this combination of tone woods was the ultimate combination for getting the best tone from an electric guitar. And you know what? It just works. The, the body is so resonant that the sustain you can get out of this thing is unreal and you can just really feel it when you're playing.
is super comfortable with the oiled finish and it just looks absolutely beautiful with the bird's eye maple. Um, something that a lot of you might not know with the bird's eye maple stuff. Um, the more bird's eye it's got, the softer the wood. Um, this model, it's not the craziest one I've seen. Um, the, the neck on this is stupidly stable. Something that helps with that and just for quick and easy adjustment is the truss rod wheel is at the bottom here. So, you know, if you get to a gig, it doesn't need an Allen key. You can use an Allen key, but, you know, if say you're playing outdoors, I've done loads of gigs where I'm playing outdoors in the winter or in a hot and sweaty bar and your neck's moved a little bit and you're just like, man, I need to adjust the truss rod because the action's gone up or it's fretting out the first fret, anything like that. And, you know, you don't have a screwdriver and typically on a lot of guitars, you get the truss rod adjustment up here behind something held down by a screw. On this, it's great because you can literally jam anything in there and just move the truss rod and adjust it on the fly. Absolutely great. More guitars should have this feature. <laughs> on these models are PV's own custom wound pickups which were made to any specification. Uh, something that always confuses people but it is right is the neck pickup on this is actually higher output than the bridge pickup and they are direct mounted to the body to again give more sustain and tone. <laughs> other signature guitars which um, carry this kind of body shape. Before he had the PV Wolfgang, he had the Music Man signature guitar which is now known as the Axes. Um, I mean the change from that guitar to this guitar, on first glance they look very similar but then just things like the extra cutaway around here the switch has moved from the bottom up to the top, so now it's in complete line with the tone and volume control, so it's in your playing line. Um, you know, that's just one of those things which is a genius move in my opinion. It's, you know, out of the way, you don't have to reach down, it's just there if you do want to change. Um, and the other thing is that between the two guitars, Eddie went from a 10 inch radius fretboard to a 15 inch radius. I don't know why the big change, but you know, that's, that's what he wanted. That's what he got. And it's super comfortable on this guitar. <laughs> series Eddie's goal was to make the ultimate hybrid between a Strat and a Les Paul um, you know you can kind of see what he was going for and I think he's done it really well you've got that familiar feel from a Strat of a maple neck I mean obviously ignore the fact it's got the 15 inch radius which you're not going to find on a Strat um, the body you've got the two humbuckers like you would find typically on a Les Paul this is a hardtail model. Um, more commonly, you'll find these with a Floyd Rose and detuner system, but I wanted to go for the hardtail model just because you've got the added flexibility of tuning things on the fly and not having to worry about the micro tuning system on a Floyd Rose. Um, and as you can see, it's got that tunematic style bridge, which on this is recessed again. I don't know how well you can see that in the video. Um, but it's recessed into the body on this, which again, I think that's just 
for adding more sustain and tone to the guitar. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, this is just my all-time favourite guitar. I mean, obviously you're used to seeing Eddie rock out with huge gain tones, amps cranked, and the guitar is certainly capable of that. You know, I can't play like Eddie, a lot of people can't play like Eddie, so you're not going to see me doing all the tapping stuff, but... This guitar is also so versatile that you can get some sweet clean tones out of it, classic rock tones, as well as massive modern high gain sounds. <laughs> Headstock shape on these is a little bit marmite. Some people love it, some people hate it. Personally, I love the little scoop that you've got there. I think it works a lot better than the EVH models that they do now, where um, because this belonged to PV, they kept the general shape but just got rid of this bit, so it's like you've got a little crab claw there. This, I think it just works, and you know, I love the way it looks. There, there's nothing that I don't like about this guitar. Why don't you let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you got one of these? Have you tried one of these? Have you got the EVH model? You know, have you tried all three? The Music Man, the PV and the EVH. Let me know what you think because I'm really keen to hear what you think of my favourite guitar of all time.